Hey, hey, System Cold Tari guys, doing it's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to one of the biggest projects in terms of a video that we have done on FIFA 22 so far. The amount of research that has gone into this one is mad. Welcome to the new club, Lost World FC. This is us now. We are going to be managing a newly created club in the lowest division in England. And we're going to do this in a completely different way than you have seen it so far on YouTube. We have talked about this concept a couple of months ago. And finally, we are involving it into the channel. This video is us going ahead and including players only into this video from countries that don't have a single player actively available in FIFA 22. So we are going to countries like Laos, Bangladesh, Liechtenstein, Bahrain, Macau. We're going to Aruba. We're going to Rwanda. We're going to Samoa. All those crazy, crazy places that have just zero players in FIFA 22. We are going after those ones now. So this club is only going to allow players in from those areas that are not included in FIFA 22 at all. This has me so excited. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to bring those players in through the Youth Academy. We are a half-star club right now with the Lost World Club itself. We're going to be buying two scouts to start off with. We're going to try and get the best possible with the budget that we have given ourselves. And we're going to have some fun, man. We're going to be finding all these players from around the world, from lost and hidden places. And then we're going to make them the best players in the world. And then everyone will know these countries are not to be underestimated. And they hopefully will be having talents coming into FIFA 22 in the future. So if you guys like that concept, smash that like button. And let's get started, man. Let's do this. The two scouts that I've just signed with the entire budget that we had available are Ulfort Hermansson, the man from Iceland, and Tom Lufren is coming in. These guys are going to be the key scouts for us. The third scout we will have to earn ourselves through going up the ranks. Obviously, for the sake of the video, we're going to start off with some great scouts starting off here. And I'm excited, man. And I think it's only fair for us to pick, to pick two countries from different regions to start off with. So let's get straight into it. Straight into it. The first two places we're going to are going to be Singapore. I'm going to be looking for a goalkeeper over there. And we're going to Rwanda to find ourselves some defenders. Now, after sending the scouts away, we are going to send each scout out for three months all the time so we can circle through them a little bit. But this is the team that we have right now. Basically... It's a team of completely generated players, of course. It is a created club, as you guys know. And I don't expect anything from these players. Most of these guys will have absolutely no potential in them. So the faster we go ahead and replace these players, the better it's going to be for our future. It seems like we're going to be stuck in this 4-4-2 formation to start off with. But I'm pretty sure the Youth Academy will give me plenty of center attacking midfielders, as it always does. But... Let's start looking for the first couple of scout reports coming in. And then at the end of the year, I will obviously go ahead and show you guys the result from our team. But mainly the focus is going to be lying on those scouted players and how many of them are going to be clutch. Five star, five star scouts could be finding some amazing players straight away. So let's get it on. I'm excited. You're excited. <laughs> Feel these nipples. Here it is. The first time of the scout reports coming in. Normally, from my experience, the issue is when you have two scat reports on the same day, they don't turn out as good. So I probably should have uh, split them up, which I will do the next time we send the scouts away. But the first time ever, 325,000 in value. That could immediately be a player that we can bring into the team. Honestly, anyone above like 400,000 is a strip. Herman Entezimana. Yes, mate. A right back extraordinaire. Yes, <laughs> he's going to be the most expensive player in the team straight away. Rwanda coming in with the big boy plays, 425k. And I'm thinking, actually, should I keep cycling through the countries? Because if I stick with Rwanda now for three months, I'm going to have a bunch of players from Rwanda by the end of this. So maybe I, after finding one really good talent in each country, I move on to the next one. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I don't really have a lot of money. So constantly recalling the scout and sending him out is going to be an issue. But I think that's the right thing to do. So we can go to multiple countries out there. So that's something I'm going to keep in mind. Now we are in Singapore. Singapore, what you got for us, man? This guy doesn't even have face. That's interesting. 425k goalkeeper. We need a good goalkeeper here. A very, very good goalkeeper is necessary for this squad to succeed in the future. So the first couple of talents have come in and we can take a straight look at them. Here they are. Oh, mate. Right wing back. Great physical, great defending, good passing, 64 pace. Ah, oh, love that. He goes straight into the starting lineup. The goalkeeper... Ah, he doesn't look too good. I gotta be honest with you. He does have some good potential on him, though. So I'm gonna keep an eye on him. The other lads with the 54 and 54. I'll sadly have to say goodbye to these boys. I mean, he could be a decent center back, but then again, it's. Um, I mean, I guess I'll. I guess I'll go ahead and put him at center back and see what he's gonna be turning into. He could be a better center back, possibly. And then Endia Endia Shimiye here. Do I put him at center back as well before I sell him or before I give up on him? I guess so. I guess so. But hey, first two scat reports. One of them was really good. So Ravanda is already done. We're going to move on to a different country. The next country we have sent the scout to is St. Vincent and Grenadine. That is the place we've sent him to, bro. The amount of countries that you're going to see that you've never seen in FIFA here in this video is going to be so nice. And that right back that we had is going straight into the team, by the way. Entezimana takes over that right back position and he actually is a 68 rated player in that spot. I'm excited to have him in here. He's the first actual youth talent that we have found. And Rwanda is represented in FIFA 22 now. Scout report from Hermann Son. I think this is for the goalkeeper. 475k. Okay, that's not too bad. 100, no thanks. 170, come on, man. I need a massive goalkeeper here. Yeah, it doesn't... I mean, Yao Tan. I'll take you for now. I'm going to take a look into his stats here. The rest is going to be rejected. We're still looking for a top, top goalkeeper. And there's one more month in which Singapore can come in with one. If they don't have one, we'll have to move on to a different country and see if we can find anything there. I hope that Tan is actually kind of high rated here. What is his rating? He comes in at a 55. Uh, is that good enough for the starting lineup? I don't believe so. Would he be going straight in there? No, no, he would not. That's an issue. I need players that go straight into the lineup. First scat report coming in from St. Vincent. Come on. Come on, lads. Yes. 525k, but he's 15. Yikes. High potential, though. Attacker. We are looking for attackers in this country. So, ideally, we want to see someone pop up with 650k. Why are all these guys 15? Come on, man. I want to bring them into the team now. And by the way, you're not going to be seeing every single scat report from this point on. Just a heads up, guys, because... That would, take, that would make this video like 10 hours long. So I will give you the highlights. Initially, at the beginning here, I've given you some of the top players that we've gotten in the first couple of scat reports. So that's obviously nice. But from this point on, only if we have some highlights, actually like millions worth of a player coming in, you will get to see it. Or at least if it's a player that goes straight into the starting lineup, you guys will see it. I don't want to bore you here. I just want to show you the top ones coming in. But the new man that has just come in, Thomas, 15 years old. All right, he's 54 rated. Has okay shooting, I guess. And then this lad is 58 rated as a right midfielder slash center attacking mid. Let me promote him real... Oh, he's 15. Yeah, so forget about that already. No, uh, <laughs> uh, he's high rated, but I can't bring him in now. After not being able to find the goalkeeper I've been looking for, the next country we're going for is Bangladesh. Hopefully this one will pay out. I am assuming we have a couple of people watching the videos from over there. Greetings to you. The St. Vincent journey is done. No one has come through there. We're going for Tahiti now. That's the next country we're going to be visiting. Bangladesh and Tahiti. I still have hopes to get anyone out of here. But St. Vincent has sadly been a disappointment. Apart from the lads that are 15 and stuck in the youth academy. I just signed a player from Bangladesh. I thought he wasn't looking good. But he's 60 rated. Anamul Mustafi. Now, his potential isn't necessarily high, so his value was low. 
but the 60 rating brings him straight into the team so we have found our goalkeeper now 60 rating is fine for me man with dynamic potential this kid should be doing really well in the future we have our goalkeeper i'm very happy about this promote him into the senior team put him into the starting lineup next to entezimana and here he goes morris i'm sorry pal it's time for mustafi bangladesh is represented in this video get in it's nice so thanks to completing our journey in bangladesh we have sent our scout out now to pakistan i'm excited about that all for hermanson is going to be looking for someone and i believe the other scout hold on a second is he coming back or what's what's happening here because it did say in transit so i'm just wondering what the what the thing is here there we go so we have sent one out to pakistan now and the other one whew, i'll see where i'll send them in a second tom thanks for uh your service so far we're still looking for more we found the country and the country we're gonna send him to is aruba pakistan and aruba we're looking for anything not just a specific position now which should open up the opportunities of finding multiple players lads i think we have found one i have already been looking at him i kind of filtered out all the rest so you guys can look at faisal kazim pakistan might just be represented in a starting lineup it depends what kind of position he plays i'd love to have a center midfielder but it looks like he's more on that right hand side so Kazim comes in from Pakistan. That is going to be another country that we have represented now. Ooh, Collins is kind of high rated though. 26 years old. What is this guy's rating? Oh, of course. I got to go into the Youth Academy, man. What am I doing? So, Youth Academy, Kazim, 60. So, basically the same rating as the other guy that we have in the team. 76 pace, decent passing, decent dribbling. All right, pal, let's bring you in straight away. We're going to develop him to left midfield just to make sure we get this guy up in his rating past whoever is going to be his competitor. And Ferguson, I will actually make a left midfielder. By the time he comes in, he might go into the starting lineup. So St. Vincent's Ferguson here goes to the left and Kazim stays on the right. I'm all for it, man. I'm all for it. And Endia Shimiye here from Rwanda Another player that we had earlier on is actually up to a 58. This kid is looking good. He could be coming into the starting lineup as well. So right now, we're going to promote two players to come into the starting lineup. How nice is that? Two Rwanda players going to be playing next to each other here. Burrows, good for you, but we're going to take you out, pal. And the Aishimiya is coming in and Kazim takes over. And we can put Collins over onto that left-hand side for now until that St. Vincent kid comes through. And this guy looks to have some good stats on him. So very happy with the new players in the squad. Now we have three of them in the starting lineup. No, sorry, four. Mustafi, Endi Ashimiye, uh, Entezimana, and Kazim. Let's go, man. Our world tour continues. Aruba has paid off. Mansoor is coming in. Not Sheikh Mansoor from Man City, but we have just found the center midfielder who I thought could be good, and he turned out to be good. Brian Mansoor comes into the, team, into the team right now. Not the highest potential in terms of the players, but 59 rating brings him straight into the starting lineup. So that makes him very interesting for us. We're going to promote him straight away. I should have put a development plan on him. I will do so in a second, but he takes over Booth, his position for me. Mansoor, welcome to the team. Aruba represent the scouts are now out of aruba and pakistan they are now going to macau and qatar two other countries that are not represented in fifa 22 so that makes it even more exciting for us to look after them but the team is getting together slowly man i like the look of it so far and soon we'll have to pinpoint certain places that we need to fill in the team but ideally we want to find some attackers now especially the striker position after just one month we can already leave uh not qatar qatar is not looking ideal we found rostom here but he's six foot six which i like and he has high potential but you know what actually we will leave qatar i'll i'll get him in as a backup keeper for now and build him up because he's probably going to surpass whoever we had in that position um which was a position that was filled with a player from one of these countries but still having a backup goalkeeper is actually a good thing so we can move away from qatar but most importantly macau came in with two talents yes they came in with Quili wen 
who I think is going to be better on the right wing position. And Li Shi. That is his name. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it here or C, whatever it is here. We're going to move him into the squad and take a look at them in a second. Ferguson, by the time you come in, someone else might take over your position, my friend. So Collins will technically be coming in. And by the way, I am just releasing the players that need to be gone so that these players actually play in a starting lineup. So just a heads up to you guys uh, so that you are aware of what is going on here in the team. So when comes in... And as a left wing, he goes up to 62. There we go. So now we have a player from Macau in the starting lineup and another one on the bench. And we have a backup goalkeeper who has lots of potential coming in from Qatar. We're going to move on from those two countries immediately after just one month. The two new countries are Turks and Caicos Islands. I think those are islands, if I'm not mistaken. And Botswana. Let's search for more talents, lads. We still have some room in the starting lineup, that's for sure. The first season ends with a victory after all those scat reports. And we still have two to look at right now at the end here. Um, so I'm going to share that moment with you as we look for talents from Botswana here. Sadly, it doesn't look like we're going to find one. Uh... Nah, he doesn't look good enough. I need players with high value, man. 375 doesn't cut it anymore. Ideally, I need like 400 plus. That's that's what I need. Um, here we are looking through Turks and Caicos Islands. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be another case of no talents this time, which is a huge shame. Of course, I would be bringing in backups as well, but I do want them to be good backups for really, really talented players that we already have in the squad. So we end the season in the 24th position, which is dead last in the League 2. I don't think I've ever had this happen to me. But I love it because it will show so much progression throughout the season if we get there. So let's take a look at the players that we had in the starting lineup already. So Ven has gone up to a 63 rated left winger. Kazim has gone up to a 62. Entezimana is looking incredible as a right back right now. He is amazing. I probably will make him the captain because he has been our first player from the youth academy to come in. And... Another talent that I didn't expect to do this well, Endi Ashimiye, is coming in. And I'm actually surprised that I can pronounce his name. He comes in here into that centre-back spot, taking over at the 59 rating and Mustafi on the 61. On the backups right now, we have Shi, who has gone up to 60. And I think we have the goalkeeper here, Rostom, up to a 56. So not much movement on the bench, but the starting lineup, especially our right back, our first talent, it's looking pretty good. First season, dead last in the League 2. Lots of progression still to go through. I can tell right now this is going to be one long video. But I hope it's going to be enjoyable for you and myself. Because I've never gone and looked for these countries in terms of talent. So having the cheat engine on PC makes this possible. And I love it. New season begins. Our budget. No one cares. Actually, yes, we do. Hold on a second. I can sign another youth scout. I can. I will. Xander Yesen. We have signed another one. So now we can scout three countries, which will make it even easier for us to build a good lineup. But I have found two talents and their names are Lecholo. He comes in. Uh, Ferguson is ready for the, starting, uh, for the starting lineup. Let's go. St. Vincent's Ferguson is coming in straight away. Love that. Lecholo comes in here. He's a center attacker midfielder with kind of good shooting. He could be a striker. He is 15, though, which is going to be an issue here. So we're going to put him at striker five weeks. I think that's a perfect position for him. He has good pace, though. And then Daniel's here coming in at a 57 rating as a center forward with 51 shooting. Somewhat decent passing as well. We're going to promote him into the team because he was like worth 600k. So both the countries... The um, Turks and Caicos and also Botswana have given out talents. Now, though, we can start looking for three nations in the new season. We're about to go ham. The three new countries we're going for. Vanuatu, Virgin Islands and Myanmar all set up for three months. Go ahead, Hermanson, Lufren and Yesin. Do your jobs, lads. Bring in the best talents right now. Lads, all three of the countries have given out talents. Vanuatu coming in with Adrian Chandra, who's going to be a backup for both fullback positions. 
The reason why I say backup is because we got Myanmar's Levin here coming through as a left back for our team. And we have Daniels coming through as an offensive option. He has really good shooting, though. So I think he might actually be a striker. He was worth 1 million when I signed him up. And we have uh, Lecholo with his position change. He did have good shooting. Yeah, 58 to 64. Oh, you know what, man? Why are these guys so young? I need him right now. Like, literally, he would go straight into the starting lineup. But the other boys are going to be promoted immediately. And then we'll see how things move on. Very happy with those three countries immediately bringing in players. So... We got to move to new countries now. The three new candidates are Dominica, Sao Tome and Principe, and then Yemen. Maybe, maybe we can hit a triple again like we did last month, but I don't expect it. So after three months scouting in these countries, we only have one player from Yemen. We, oh, actually two players from Yemen there. We have one player from Dominica and we're still waiting on the Cholo to become a starting lineup player from Botswana. We'll have to look for three new countries. Yemen is the only one that really worked out. Dominica was all right here. Uh, but it is, again, a 15-year-old player that would technically be a start, like a backup player for the starting lineup right now. And uh, Abdul Rahman is a cam. And I don't necessarily need center attacking midfielders in this formation that we have. So it's also not perfectly ideal for the squad. So... Sadly, these ones haven't worked out. From now on, the way I'm going to do this, by the way, guys, is going to be I'm going to set up the three countries. I'm going to scout for three months and then show you guys who we have found in those scout reports throughout all three months on this list, because I feel like it's just going to be better and it's going to be better for the video in general. So you guys will know what's going on. The new countries are New Caledonia, Seychelles and Bahrain or Bahrain, however you want to say it. That's the place where F1 takes place, right? Maybe we find some fast players over there. Guys, a madness has happened. We have found some incredible talents in the past few months here. We have Odum here from the Seychelles who have the sickest flag right here. Love it. He comes in at a 66 rating straight into the starting lineup. Then we have Tete coming in here with a 66 rating himself. Ideally, I want to move him to the center back spot. So he comes into the squad as well, which I'm excited about. Then we have a huge goalkeeper here from New Caledonia, 60, 63 rated. And then we also have this man still from Yemen. And then we have a bunch more players here from the Seychelles who have given out incredible talents into our team. So the squad is being built as we speak. It's getting better. The striker spot is reserved for the kid coming through the youth academy, of course. Hooper is going to be left now. We're going to put in Teti into that position. He goes up to a 67, which is great. And Odum comes in and takes over that center defensive midfield position instantly. I will have to probably set this up to be a, like a 442. What is it? 442 holding. Yeah, that one. And then turn Mansoor into a center mid up here. And then we're fine. So that's the setup now. Going into the rest of the season. Excited to have these players in these spots. He's left footed. Let's put him over there. Actually, he's left footed as well. <laughs> so it doesn't really make a difference. But now, do we have a full starting lineup? Mustafi, Entezimana, Tete, Ndiyashimiye. Ndiyashimiye. Oh, no. N. Wait. Endaishimiye. That's his name. Oh, God. I was saying it wrong this whole time. And I thought I was saying it right. Elwin here on the left. And then Wen is obviously his left uh, left winger. And then we have Odom, Mansur, Ferguson. And then the striker position is the only one that we're missing. So we're slowly set up after all this time that we have been grinding to find players from all around the world. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm still going to be sending the scouts out to three different countries in a bit. But... Yeah, for now, I'm very happy. Three new countries in play, Eswatini, Tonga, and Turkmenistan. And I'll give you guys a quick little update on how the season is going so far. We are in that eighth position. We might be in contention for playoffs. We'll see how it goes. So after three months of scouting those countries, this is how Youth Academy is looking like. Lecholo, Grant, Mathieu, Abdulrahman, Dankwa, and Tufour. The only one I think that we brought in from that I already got rid of. Like, sadly, those three countries didn't really pay out as much as far as I can remember right now. I hope I'm not wrong. But yeah, things didn't go too well. I'm still waiting on Lecholo to come into the starting lineup. I need this guy badly. 
How long is he going to be 15 for? It feels like it's been ages already. But three new countries from the list that I have. I have compiled this list with hard work on stream. And I am now like ticking them off and going through them. And by the end of this, we might go through every single country that is not included in FIFA 22. The three new countries now, Laos, Brunei, Darussalam, and Cambodia. Please be better than the last three. They were horrible. The season is done and Lecholo now will be available for us. I will probably get him in in the next season uh, because I don't want to impact his potential. 77 to 83 is still fine for me, but he's going to come in. He's finally 16. And then we have Grant here on the 66 and Mathieu on the 64 and 24. These are the only ones that we have remaining in the squad at the end of this year. And we didn't make it. <laughs> we did not make it. We are still a League 2 team, but it makes sense, man. Our team is nowhere near good enough, but it has that potential to get there. A lot of our players have high potential and I'm excited about it. Currently ninth with 64 points. Next season, we're definitely fighting for, mo for promotion. First, second, and third go up directly. The rest plays for the playoffs here from, from the fourth and seventh position. I don't know if we can make it into the direct positions to get up into League One. I would love it, though. Then the team itself, we are looking at the squad. And Daniels, for some reason, has been taken out here. Nonetheless, though, Daniels and Daniels. Oh, wow. The Daniels attack. <laughs> we have this man on the 69. This one on the 64, Vent up to a 71, Ferguson up to a 71, Mansoor, nice growth, Odom came in now and he's six, at a 67, Elvin on a 71, Endiyashi, no, Endayishimiye, 65 rated, Tete, potential to be special, 69 rated, the right back turn, center back, and Entezimana, the captain, on a 79, looking ridiculous. Mustafi on the 64. And the backup goalkeepers here, Rostom, only 60 rated. So he's not going to get any play time soon. Uh, Kazim, though, done really well here, going up to a 70 rating. So good things there. But I can't wait to bring the young kid into that striker position. And from that point on, things are looking quite good for us. Next season, we should be going up. In the new season, Brunei came in with a big talent. Mohamed Saeed right here is going to be a center back for our team. And I assume he's going to be very good because his physicality and pace is there already. It's just that defending. So we're turning him into a center back from a left wing back. And Lecholo is now in the team. Grant is going to come in at some point as a backup winger this season. But boys... That Cholo taking over his spot means so much to this squad. Daniels, I appreciate you, but gonna, gonna, you're going to go down to the bench. So no more Daniels and Daniels up front. That Cholo takes over his position. Right footed, Daniels on the left. And then the rest of the squad now is set. And potentially, Endai Shimiye is going to be taken out of the starting lineup. And Entezimana is going to be the only one from Rwanda in the starting lineup which is okay. So uh, that young kid that we found, he's going to be a very good center back. And I think he fits right into the squad. So this season, guys, we have started it off nicely in the new one. I have high hopes for this squad and our budget is around 8.5 mil. I have no need to spend it squad looking for talents only at the moment. The three months of the scouting there are actually now done. Brunei comes in with another talent, 65 rated center forward with incredible stats right here. I mean, we're, we're going to have to bring him into the squad as well. Development plan, we're going to check him out real quick. Ibrahim Said. Brunei seems to be a hotbed for big talents. Center attack in mid seems to be what we need to do with him. Which then, maybe we'll change the formation, but I don't know if I want to. Striker takes him too long. Winger, he doesn't have the pace for it. I guess I'll bring him in as a center attacker mid and see what we do after that. But we also have Saeed now ready for the swap to the center back. He goes up to a 69. So yes, the center back from Rwanda is going to be leaving the squad now and going down to the bench. And Saeed takes over his position immediately. And effectively. So, take him out. Enda Yishimiya is getting out of here. And Saeed takes over. Love it, though. Now, our defense is looking better as well. So, that's great. I like improving the defense as much as we can. It's a very important thing to do. 
uh, for having backups and stuff. But this team, man, this team has to be able to get things done. They just surely have to get promotion for sure. And I feel like at this point, I shouldn't be focusing too much on the scouting anymore. We have plenty of players from all around the world. I don't have to go through the entire list. I'll still go scout and see if I can find like those 2 million euro talents. Unless we find them, you're not going to see me show them from this point on. So just a heads up. But the rest of the season is coming up now. So things are about to get exciting. Promotion, dynamic potential, all those things have to kickstart now. One thing I need to showcase, though, is the fact that Malcolm Grant has gone up to a 71 in the Youth Academy. This kid deserves to be brought into the squad at this point. And the rest of these lads, I will bring them on when time comes around. I guess I, I'll bring the 17 years old year, year olds in. We have Saeed here, uh, who is a talent that I found. And we're going to turn him into center attack in mid. He goes up by plus two. Again, we don't have a center attack in midfield position, but still it's going to be good to have certain players in a team. And then these, this 17 year old Miranda, 60 rated fullback, can also play center back. I guess we'll bring him in as well. But lads... This is it now. Let's get to the end of the season. So finally, after all the scouting is basically done at this stage, our team is set. Players from all around the world. And it's a beauty to see that they have come together to play for our club Lost World right now. That last month was horrific. We lost every single game it looked like. And now we're picking it up back again, which is good to see. I don't know how form fluctuates like that. That seemed a bit mad. But 2024 is coming to an end, guys, and let's dive into it. First, let's go. 89 points. As expected, we're going to go up, but it is a direct promotion rather than playoffs. It didn't look too good, though. Earlier on into the season, we were like eighth or something. <laughs> and it's good to see that we are now on 89 points with 76 goals scored, most in the league, and 50 conceded, which is kind of all right in terms of our defense. Now, Daniels, 77. Lecholo, 73. Ferguson, 77. Mansour with the 68. Odom coming in with the 71. Ven with the 79. Elwin, 78. Said, 73. Teti up to a 74. Our captain, Entezimana, up to an 84. This guy has nothing to do in League One. I am actually surprised that we're still here. I got to say one thing, though. The goalkeeper spot. It's not looking too good, you know. Like, we do have this guy, Mathieu, who I just brought in. So he probably will be playing from this point on. The rest of the boys are not going to get that much play time. So this is probably how we're going to set up in League One. And I still expect our team to absolutely smash everyone. This team is way too good now. And 84 rated. Well, I like that. But the goals... Who got the goals? Daniels from the Virgin Islands. 29 goals, 10 assists. <laughs> Lecholo, after waiting for him for so long, the Botswana striker gets it done uh, 14 times. And then Ven from Macau up to a 79 rating. Mansour from Aruba, 7 and 8. Uh, he has done well. Ferguson, 6 and 7. The man from St. Vincent that we waited for until he turned 16 as well. And of course, the captain, is doing great things. Kazim with four goals and six assists off the bench. I like that. That's a good performance. Daniels actually has potential to be special. Uh, so we got to keep an eye out on this kid. He could be pretty big later on. And the same goes for Teti. He has potential to be special as well. I love the fact that we have put this team together now. I am fully aware that these are not real players, but still, man, I love this. So now we're going to work our way up to the top and into the Premier League. And by the time we get there, I think our captain, the right back, is going to be 90 plus rated. And we're going straight to the end of 2025. And as you guys can tell, League One, no problem. No problem at all. I just wonder who are going to be the top performers of this season. Is it going to be the new youngster coming into the squad and playing in that striker position? The one that we've been waiting for for so long. Or is it going to be Daniels, I think his name was, that plays in that striking position along him. The man from the US Virgin Islands. We are here now at the end of the season. What's it going to be? I can see us easily in a top two. We've seen these results easy top two finish and then once we get into the championship things are going to get very interesting especially 
if certain players haven't had dynamic potential go their way. Let's see. Yes. Lost World at the top. Come on then, 110 points, 88 goals scored, 44 conceded, 44 goal difference. The best in the league by a long shot. And the team? Yes. Daniels, 84. Let's Cholo up to an 80. Ferguson, 81. Mansour, 75. Good. Odom, 77. Very nice. Ven is up to an 86. He's soon the second highest rated player in the team. Uh, not not soon. He already is, but he might be the highest rated in the team soon. Elwin here up to an 82. Said to a 79. Teti up to an 80. And Tezimana, our captain, our leader, up to an 87 by now. Mathieu is on a 73, and that is going to be the problem position. I need him to still go up. Uh, he has gotten a plus five this season, which I'm completely fine with. And if he gets to like a 78 by the end of next season... And then we go into the Premier League with a 78 rated goalkeeper who is going to still continue on growing. It could be all right. It could be all right. We'll see how that goes. But generally speaking, the bench right here, Grant is looking very good. Kasim is still a decent backup, especially for championship football. These guys are really good. Daniels is still a very high potential player for us. Saeed here up to a 71. To four here still on the CDM position. A decent backup for that spot as well. So we are set, boys. We are set. It looks like the dynamic potential has kicked in. Daniels, 35 and 5, plus 7 this season. My God, Daniels. He's on one right now. Lecholo, 16 and 1. He's still only 17, right? So he's gonna he's gonna grow into being a striker. Ferguson, 12 and 9. Love that. Mansoor with the 11 and 8. Plus 7 this season. Ven plus 6, 11 and 15. What a season for the man from Macau. Incredible things. And our center back has 7 goals and 5 assists. I mean, what else do you want, man? What else do you want? Complete domination of League 1. Up into the championship we go. I expect... I expect... Entesimana by the end of next season to be a 90. Ven to be an 89. Lecholo to be an 84. Daniels to be an 87. Tete, I'm going to say 84. Said 83. Mathieu, 78. Let's skip straight to the next season. I ain't buying any more players. And sadly, I am not finding any amazing talents anymore that can make it into this team or top the players that are on our bench. So it's a bit of an issue right now. I would have to find talents that are worth 10 mil. So now we're basically set for the rest of this. The boys are coming all over from all around the world and they're set and they know what they're going after. Premier League football and the Champions League title. So let's keep going. It's not looking too good here in 2026 February. We seem to be having these months in which we do terrible and then we we pick things up again, which I don't know why that is a thing. Like, look at this. I knew it. I knew exactly that because of that last month being so terrible that our team would pick it up now and do much better in this month. And I do believe that there's a very, very good chance of us getting promotion, guys, because I've seen a lot of dubs here along the way. It's just a question of these last couple of months here. We do get a couple of draws, but then we go unbeaten in, May, in April. And in May, if we could go unbeaten here as well, I'm pretty confident that we're going to be in for a shot to get into the Premier League. It is... What is it? Yes. Yes. Come on. First and second. Lost World and Watford go through. We are on 101 points, 93 goals scored, 47 conceded. Best goal difference in the league once again. Not necessarily the best defense. Norwich actually had the best defense, but still good enough. Second best defense in the league. That should be some nice upgrades for our defenders, hopefully. But let's take a look into the squad. Are my predictions coming true? Daniels, 88. I thought... I. I I think I said 89, so that's a little bit lower. Lecholo, I think I said 84, if I'm not mistaken. 85, nice. Mansour, 80. Odom, 82. Ven up to an 88. Ah, Entezimana is not up to a 90 yet. No one is up to a 90, actually. Whoa, where's my goalkeeper? Ah, someone bought my goalkeeper, really? Who bought my goal? Ah, I'm just... I'm going to buy him back. I'm going to buy him back. Don't you worry. I'm going to get him back again. It's so annoying. 
<laughs> I hate this. I hate the way these classes. Anyways, Daniels is here. Grant is on an 80. C is up to a 76. Kazim is up to a 74. Ndi Shimiye or Ndai Shimiye is up to a 74, which is a nice backup for the squad as well. Duke up to a 71, a completely different Duke than the Youth Academy career mode. And Tufur up to a 70. It's actually quite, quite nice to see. But question is, who has scored the goals? Is Lecholo finally getting there or is Daniel the, Daniel's the main man still? He is. This guy scores like 30 plus goals every single season so far. How impressive is he? I do wonder if he can keep that up in the Premier League as well. 19 and 4 for Lecholo though. I'll take that. Grant with the 13 and 5 off the bench. Wow. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. Venn with the 6 and 7. And Ferguson only with 3 and 6. Not necessarily an incredible season for him, but still, he went up to an 84, so I can't really complain. Boys, good season. And now we are in the Premier League, the moment we have been waiting for. I'm going to buy back the goalkeeper. Don't you worry about that. And I'll fix that issue for you. Chelsea have won the FA Cup. Congratulations to you, lads. I'm going to take that trophy away from you in the future. Premier League football seems to be a little bit tougher. Uh, three draws there back to back. And the month of March starts off horrible. Oh, no, it's all falling apart. I do. I did wonder, like, can we get European football? But by the looks of things, it's not going to happen, guys. 2027, here we are. Can we finish off on a massive April month? Nope. It's not going to happen. Win against Manchester United. Loss against Watford. Win against Chelsea. This doesn't make any sense. Southampton victory. Loss against Arsenal. Again, doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm looking at right here. 2-2 two -two draw against West Ham. 2-1 win against... Newcastle, come on, man. Beat Liverpool for no reason. Come on. Yes. And beat... No, lose against Wolves. Hello? Oh, it's a draw. Wow, the game thought about it for a while. Mm, should I let, let him lose? Nah. All right, where do we finish? Top six. Hey, European football is coming in, boys. It is. It well and truly is. Oh, only one point? What? No, not one point. Um, Like, one more win. And we would have been in the top four. That's annoying. That's really annoying. 75 points on Chelsea to win the league. That's not even that far away. That's only 12 points, boys. First season of the Prem. Finishing in the sixth position. Can't complain about it. My thing is, though, I thought our team was really good for this. Right? I thought we were going to be really good here. Oh, yes. Daniels, 93. My God. Okay. Then up to a 90. Ferguson up to an 87. Entesiama of Entesimana, sorry, up to a 90. Our captain is doing well. Mathieu back into the team, of course. 83 rated now. That's a plus five on top of last season. Elvin up to an 89. By the way, I stopped training the players like on the opposite sides thing. I'm working on the pace of the wingers and, and the fullbacks and all that stuff. Said 86. I'll take that. Teti up to an 88. Our goalkeeper needs to catch up. I would say the main reason as to why we didn't get top four this season is the goalkeeper. And then I also need Mansour and Odom to pick up the pace, man. These guys are taking way too long in terms of their growth. Like, let's take a look at the goals, though. Daniels and Lecholo. Oh, the battle is on. The battle is on. The man from Botswana wants that title of being the best striker on the team. He has scored nearly as many goals. I mean, he has more goal contributions, technically speaking, than the guy above him. That's already huge. So Lecholo, good job. Mansour, 7-4. Plus four this season. Wait, he was 80 rated? Okay, the man from Aruba is doing well then. Uh, Ven up to a 90, just a plus one this season. Seven and 11, I like that. Ferguson, four and six, but plus two, we'll take it. Grant, the man from Dominica is doing really well for himself here. Tete up to an 88, the man from Seychelles. Brunei's uh, Said up to an 86. And Tizimana from Rwanda, our captain, up to a 90. And no growth this season. And he's only 23. Nice. <laughs> so nothing happened there for him. But it's nice to see that both of our top players in the attack, they are doing really well. I can't wait to use these players next season, though. It, I mean, we're technically going to be going for at least two more seasons, right? We got to finish top four next season, get Champions League football. And then in our first Champions League season, we'll have to win it. I don't know if we can do that, but I'll try. I can tell you this much straight away. We're smacking everyone. Like, every team we play against is getting ruined. But I'm not seeing any European football. And that is really making me wonder. 
What's the issue here? Why are we not taking part? Did we actually get kicked out of the Europa League? Is that is that really what happened? Am I dreaming? Anyways, we're doing well. And most of our team should be insane by now. The rest of the world that is not included in FIFA 22 is taking over the world right now. So we have a cup final against Brighton. This has to be one of the weirdest seasons ever. But FA Cup final, big victory. Come on then. All right, so we're pushing towards the end here. May 2028. How many seasons has this one taken? My God. Yes, 86 points. First in the league. First Premier League title. Hopefully, we can win another one in the next season. 84 goals scored. 41 conceded. One of the best defenses in the league. That's what I want to see. That's the type of performance we deserve as a team. Look at that. 95, 91, 89. Ferguson is getting there. Mansour up to an 87. Odom up to an 89. There we go. The, both of the defenders are up to a 90 and above. Elwin has grown again. Entezimana, our captain, has gone up to a 91. Ven has gone up by plus two. Mathieu, 88. And that's the main reason as to why we're doing so well. And the boys on the bench actually look quite good, you know. Daniels with the 93 pace could be a good substitute. Grant looks quite solid. C is all right. Kazim is all right. We got some good boys here, man. I like it. And then we have Duque as well, who could be quite useful. Um, do I take anyone out for him? Nah, I think Duque is going to remain here on the reserves. But I want to know, who is the top striker? Who is the one scoring the most? Is it Daniels or has Lecholo finally done it? No, Daniels is back at his strength. 30 plus goals again. Lecholo with the 22 and 4. Ven with the 17 and 11. Ferguson with 8 and 12. All four attacking players have done an incredible job. And Mansour has performed in that midfield. What else could you ask for? European football. That's what you could ask for. So let me see what happened there. How did we get kicked out of it? When did it happen and why did it happen? No European football. So I'm assuming top six doesn't get European football then. I thought sixth got you European football. Did we finish seventh last season? I'm so confused, man. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Champions League football is for sure coming. Didn't expect to see Wolfsburg this far in the Champions League in 2029, but they're doing it. It's a narrow win. This is not over yet against Wolfsburg. We lose against Manchester United in the cup. We get a draw against Arsenal. I don't know if we have the strength, boys. It's, it's not looking good. Okay, there we go. 3-0. Can this be the season in which we get into the Champions League final? Already, first time we play Champions League, we get it. How amazing would that be? AC Milan. Oh, a loss. I need a massive win here. And we get that massive win. Semi-finals against Atletico Madrid. My arch nemesis when it comes down to Champions League football. It's a 1-1 draw and a win. We're in the Champions League final against Mbappe and his boys. 2029. Mbappe must be 99 rated at this stage and playing alongside Haaland in that squad. That's what I'm fully expecting. Let's take a look at the team that's going to take on Mbappe and his boys. Daniels, Lecholo, 96-93. Is anyone below 90? No one. We have turned players that didn't even exist in FIFA 22 from countries that don't exist in the game into absolute monsters. And this is why I love career mode on PC, man. If you guys want to do this type of stuff, look into like the cheat engine and stuff. And this makes it possible. So I absolutely love doing this. We are now looking at a ridiculous team that's going to be taking on a big team in Mbappe and his boys. I believe Mbappe is going to be there. 99 pace on Lecholo, 98 on Daniels. Look, this might just be one of the strongest teams we have built. And I can't wait to use it. Mathieu up to a 92. Dynamic potential is the best thing that ever happened to FIFA. Honestly, when it comes to career mode, man, it's the best thing that happened to us. Without this thing, every single rebuild that we would do would be boring as hell because every single player grows to the same rating. I'm so happy that we have that, but we can't stop there, EA. We got to keep on improving. Now, let's take a look at the development plan and uh, not development plans. <laughs> let's take a look at the players. Daniels, 46 and 10. How good is this guy? <laughs> what is that? A 56 goal season 
and he plays in the Premier League. He doesn't play in like a Farmers League or something. This is 56 goal contributions at the highest level. Lecholo with 33, making him look bad because this guy has scored so many. Uh, Ferguson, 12 and 15. Love it. Ven is on the 11 and 9. Grant on the 8 and 4. Um, Entezimana with 5 and 3. The captain really stepping up at that last season there. Mansour with the 8 assists. Well done, pal. Let's take him on. I'm ready. Have we won the Premier League, by the way? Let me just double check. Uh, sometimes I forget this, by the way, when we do these rebuilds, but I get so obsessed about the Champions League final. Lost World back-to-back -back Champions League trophies. Come on, then. Now, I want to see who we are taking on in the final. Who is it going to be? PSG, show me your squad now. I think there's going to be some mental players in there. That team has so much money, but I ain't scared. My team is insane. So, PSG, show me who you got. Mbappe, Baranetrea on the left, Javi Elliott, Gallagher from Crystal Palace, <coughs> Declan Rice, Herrera. What Herrera is that going to be? Sven Botman alongside Marquinhos, Hakimi, Donnarumma. That's a good team, man. That's a really good team. I see a lot of big names in there. So I've just woken up on the next day to play this game, and I'm seeing a little bit of a change in the in the uh, PSG team. That midfield looks unreal. Um, now I'm even more scared. Well, the PSG fans seem to have taken over one half of the uh, stadium, but our fans on the right are ready for this big moment. The talents from all around the world are going to be playing in this stadium and playing for a big trophy this team we created and we bring, uh, we built it around players from countries that don't exist in fifa that are not represented in fifa and that makes me very happy that we had the chance to do so and now we want to lift the title for the rest of the world that isn't represented here hopefully all the boys that we have gotten to these ratings are actually as good as I think they are. Great steal by Mansour. Let Cholo. Let Cholo. Look at that strength. Oh, he's pushing it away. Come on, Let Cholo. Inside. The shot. And it gets deflected off the keep off the defender and the keeper, I assume. We gotta be very careful with the way we build our attacks now as they get the ball off of us quickly again. PSG. There we go. Come on, then. This is a hard-fought match so far. And now on the left. Come on, Ven. Come on, Ven. Go for it. Whoa. That might just be one of the worst shots I've ever seen. And Tezimana, the captain, picks it up straight away. The first player to come into our team. Lecholo goes back to Mansur. And it is a save that we forced out of Donnarumma here. Daniels, you did have good stats for heading the ball, I believe. So I'm going to try it. He jumped up very high. I like that. Lecholo is still close. Can't win against Mbappe there, though. Well, that's the pass towards Lecholo now. Oh, here we go. Nice movement. Lecholo was through. Ah, come on. You got to continue that run. Oh, wow. I just got uh, played big time. But Entezimana has the desire to come back out of it straight away. What a ball by him. Down the right we go. Ferguson. We have options in the middle. We just need to find them. And we do. And we do. And then strikes it into the top right corner in the 42nd minute. What an attack started off by our captain at the back with the defensive work that he's put in. Well done, lads. Get in, man. Beautiful attack. A nice footballing goal. Great shift across the pitch from one side to the other. And we find the opening in between Hakimi and Donnarumma. His first shot was terrible. The second shot from Ven. That is what I expect from a player of his rating. Pochettino about to get fired after this one. Harvey Elliott down the right. We got defenders just surrounding him very, very quickly. And I got to say, man, both our right midfielder and our left midfielder are helping out to the defense a lot, which makes things a little bit easier for me. Uh-oh, talking about easier. Javi Elliott gets past me very easily. And Mbappe, in between three of our players, he doesn't have a chance to get that one through. Oh, wow. Lecholo, how did you do that? Lecholo, he's running. He's running. 
hold on why is daniels running into me bro daniels you gotta run away from me man oh we try again he needs to pull the defender away he runs into me and makes it harder than it should have been daniels you're like 95 rated bro you gotta make better runs than that go on then go on then daniels ah well oh this should be mine again good header back ben has it under control oh we get slight tackle from the back in a disgraceful way here that should have been a red in my opinion we're gonna go for the boys at the far post we got both of our strikers at the far post daniels oh god not ideal oh hold on hold on nah again come on lads jump up yes well done into the center over to the left oh dom still has this plays it through and it's ven once again yes <laughs> come on the desire to keep going despite losing the ball multiple times there i think he was from macau wasn't he i think i'm not 100 sure but it seems like macau is our strongest place around the world to find these talents look at his ability to run through to never give up and smack it in one more time get in man Oh, yes. This is what I love to see. Down the right. Look at the space from Lecholo. 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 Yes. That's all we wanted. That's a group of players that just didn't exist in FIFA 22 before. It was impossible to put them in. But the mods made it possible. And we now have an incredible team with players that just dominate and do so well here lecholo i desperately wanted him to do so well because just that one year of constantly waiting for him to turn 16 was enough for me to like get so attached to this kid because i constantly have to, had to like kept keep checking when he's gonna turn 16 and every time i was like oh man i need him i need him he's not there and then i look again and he's still not 16 and then I go into the new season. He's still not 16. I'm like, bro, the year already passed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, at the end, he finally turned 16, took over the starting lineup spot immediately. And then this is it, boys. The rest is history. The boys have done it. The boys have freaking done it, man. I got to say, this PSG team was not easy to play against. But these lads are so good. Daniels, do you want one too? And make a good run, pal. Just like Mansoor. Mansoor, left footed. He tries. We're going to. Oh, well, I thought uh, we were going to keep that in, but no. Mbappe, PSG. They want one back, but they're not going to get it. They're just not going to get it. Ferguson, come on. Ah, lads. I wanted it. Oh, the fans are singing Campione, Campione. Nice. Love that. Go on then. This is the end. The last few minutes of this game. Daniels, I'm sorry for you not turning out to be the greatest here. But here is his run. Daniels with his chance. No. Uh, it's a shame that we didn't really get much out of him. Even though every time he was on the ball, he felt great. But it has been the Lecholo and Ven show on this one specifically. And it's done. Let's go, lads. We have done it. Lost World has done it. They have won the biggest trophy in club football. And here is our captain from Rwanda. This is going to be a beautiful moment. Ente Zimana is going to lift up the trophy in front of all these players coming together from all around the world. An incredible moment for these boys and an incredible moment for me because this was one of those videos that took long man and we have done it finally guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this even one bit make sure to smash that like button i appreciate you all we have gone from league two and having absolutely no players to having a full squad that can win the premier league title back to back and ends up winning the champions league trophy Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care and peace.